Welcome to Automation with Ansible, the DO407 course. In this course, you will learn to write and manage Ansible playbooks and automate system administration tools. Let's talk a little bit more about how Vagrant fits into this. The idea here is that we're providing infrastructure as code, the key concept of DevOps. It gives us the ability then to make a system, a baseline system, that everybody can use with minimal changes or at least with communication about what changes have been made. Allows us to have the centralized configuration and Ansible added into that allows us to help with the customization even more. Before I make a change to one of my web servers, I want to remove it from the load balancer. So the first step that I actually want to do and the first task that I want to do might be to remove from the load balancer. That means I may need to run a command on the load balancer machine itself. Might be a script that I have on my control node, might be a script that I have on another management node, or it might be a script I need to run on the load balancer machine itself. Either way, it's a script that's run or a task that gets executed someplace other than one of the standard managed web server nodes. Next, we'll use the ping module. I can use ansible-doc on ping to learn a little bit more about this particular module. This is a very short one, but the sample is simply what do you want to ping, what host group, and that the module is ping. There are no options or arguments available for this particular module. So ansible server a.lab.example.com minus m and ping will verify that we have connectivity with Ansible to the server a.lab.example.com machine. We are looking for the keyword success here. 